Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Well, Ryan and Alex, thank you so very much for joining us. I really appreciate you being here to talk about your show, Pure, on WGN. Thanks for having How are you us. Today? Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. This is a fascinating drama. I'm going to start with you, Alex. Okay. Uh, uh, women are always first in my world. I'm sorry. But that's <laughs> Fair mine, enough. Mine too. I did. <laughs> Your show, see? Okay, I got, I got an amen in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, okay, tell us about this fascinating religious, uh, secular crime. All of these things rolled up into one drama here. Yeah, so um, it is. It's it, it's a whole bunch of things all at the same time. Um, our show is inspired by true events, and it's about a Mennonite community that has been infiltrated by a drug cartel. And Ryan and I play the Funks, Anna and Noah Funk. And um, uh, Noah is, is elected pastor in the first season and um, quickly comes face to face, head to head with the drugs that are infiltrating his community and makes the decision to try to eradicate the evil and bring his community back to their simple, humble values and to God. And things don't exactly go as planned. <laughs> so, um, yeah, at the, at the end of season one, um, he had some pretty terrible things had happened to our family, to our community, and he'd made some pretty difficult decisions. And the most difficult decision, in my opinion, he decides that he needs to walk away from his family and from his community to try to find redemption. So at the beginning of season two, the world is very different um, than what we had been used to in season one. The family is fractured, and they're going to have to try to find their way through and maybe back together. I want my audience to know I'm speaking with Ryan Robbins and Alex Paxton Beasley. They are the stars of WGN Pure. Okay, Ryan, tell me your character because you kind of, you and, 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 and Alex, you are the main characters in this drama. Yes, ma'am. Uh, well, uh, Noah Funk is a he was a Mennonite pastor, uh, devout in his faith and um, his family, and de dedicated, committed to his community. Um, as Alex said, he he sees a a drug start to these drugs start to infiltrate his community. He wants it gone. He thinks he's just going to eradicate it. He gets in a little bit deeper uh, than he intended, and uh, um, you know decisions are made and lives are altered and. And uh, he ultimately feels like he, his family and his community would be better off without him. So in season two, we pick up a year after the end of season one, uh, and we see w what those decisions have done, what the what the cost is uh, for his decision, and uh, it, it's uh, it, it didn't work out quite as well as he had hoped. I think <laughs> that's an understatement. <laughs> Exactly. I want my audience to know I need to speak to you guys just a moment to let you not bring you up to date. If you don't know the Mennonites, they are a, they're neither Catholic nor Protestant, but they share ties to those two Christianity streams. And people uh, say they're very religious in their beliefs, but they don't believe in church organization, military service, public office, so they're a little bit different. You guys are portraying it very, very well. But what I think more deeper is how crime and drugs have infiltrated uh, uh, religion and, and American way of society that you guys are showing us. Can you agree on that or disagree with it? No, I mean it's and it's and you it's you see it's sad. It's mm -hmm. you see uh, these these fine um, citizens, these wonderful people who just they just want to embrace a simple life, no technology. You know the, the community that we represent is an old colony um, community and you know they just want simplicity off the grid just to keep things uh, about love and family and community and uh, and the world is just encroaching on this life and and they're being more and more suffocated by it uh, and and um, it's just they get it's out of their element to try to go into this world to eradicate all these evils if you will um, but the determination um, in, with which that they, they are, the lengths they're willing to go um, 
to, to try to get back to the, their old ways, to the ways that, that they believe are, are right and true. Um, and it's, it's a really um, powerful message, I think. Alex, and I read that this is really based on a true story. This second season coming up, very briefly, what, what are we going to see? I, don't, I didn't think we could go any further. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, sort of to speak to what Ryan was just saying, you know, these are people that have been trapped um, by outside events and then by the series of their own decisions. It's, it's sort of a, a perfect storm here. Um, so in, in season two, we're going to see the further ramifications of those decisions and these exterior forces. Um, it, it's, it's, sorry, I just touched my microphone. Um, it's very heartbreaking um, to see what can happen when people are cornered and uh, what they feel they have to do to, to get themselves free, to take care of the people that they love. Um, so yeah, season two is is everything dialed up to eleven. Um, if you thought season one was intense, season two is is even more so. And I think people are going to see that just from the premiere episode. Um, there there are a couple of things that that happen in in that first episode that give you a real taste of what's to come and of how far these characters are going to be pushed by by the evil in the world. And I think every American family really needs to watch this because people may be saying, oh, that's those people or that religion. But I think that's something that's permeating many households, many religions, many things in America. So people need to watch so you can be aware. I think but, it is a un it's a very universal story. Um, you know, there, there are certain particulars about, about our show, but I, I think universally this is something that can happen to anyone and does happen to anyone. I, 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 it's certainly not specific to the people that we're portraying, for sure. Very well said, Alex. Ryan, wrap us up. When, when can we watch this new season? We know it's on WGN. What, what day time? Yeah, Tuesdays at 9 Central um, on WGN. We start airing on the 28th of May. Ryan Robbins and Alex Paxton Beasley, you are doing a stellar job. Thank so you thank so you. much, You guys Felder. make me cringe every week. Thank uh, you. Thank you. <laughs> thank so you so, so nice talking to you. I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.